Okay then, so in the last lesson we talked about passing props into other components, like this here on the modal component, and you can pass any kind of primitive values or objects in as props, but what if we need to pass a function as a prop? For example, I've got a function up here already created called close modal, and inside that function we just change the value of modal visible to be false, and when that becomes false it means the modal isn't shown anymore because of the conditional rendering that we have down here, it only shows when it's true. So what if I wanted to call that function from inside the modal component when a user clicks on the close button? Well, that means that I'd have to pass that function down as a prop into the modal component so it can be called from inside using the props. So what I'd do is I would make a prop called close and I would set it equal to close modal, the function that we created. Then we need to declare that function as a prop inside the modal component. So inside the interface, we'll say close as a property. And then the type of that should be a special type in quick called a prop function. Now that type needs to be imported into the file so that we can use it. And the way we do that is by saying import type, first of all, and then inside curly braces prop function. That's the type we're using. And that comes from app builder dot io dot quick okay so make sure you import that and after the prop function typing down here in the interface we need a function signature to declare what it's going to return which in our case is just going to be void since we don't return any value okay so far so good but now we need to call the close function when we click on this close div right here so let's attach a click event handler on click to call that function directly on the props object. And this all seems logical so far, right? We're just passing a function as a prop into this component. We're registering the type of that prop in the interface. And then we call that function directly on the props down here when a user clicks on the close div, the close button. But now let's try this in a browser with the console open so that we can see any feedback. And when you click on the open modal button, you're going to see an error like this. And this error is saying that only primitive and object values can be serialized as props. And it's basically saying that the function we passed in as a prop cannot be serialized. Now, remember, the whole premise of quick apps is that it can serialize all the data it needs into the HTML. And when it comes to props, primitive values and objects are easily serialized, but functions are not. They cannot be serialized into the HTML. So we need to take a slightly different approach when we pass functions into components as props so that they can be in some way serialized. And the way we do that is by using something called QRLs, which is something unique to Quick. And they're basically just quick URLs, which point to a chunk of code that can be lazy loaded like a function. And since this QRL is just gonna be a string path to that location, it can then be serialized, unlike a function. So what we need to do is turn our function into a QRL, which means that Quick will put this function into its own chunk then, and the QRL will be a path that points to that chunk of code. And then since a QRL can be serialized because it's just a string path essentially, we can pass that QRL into the model as a prop. So then how do we make a QRL from a function? Well, it's pretty simple. We just need to import a function from Quick, and that is just dollar sign. Now, we'd invoke this function like this, dollar sign, and then just parentheses. And as an argument, we pass in something that we want to turn into a QRL. Now, in our case, that's going to be the function. So all we need to do is wrap the function in this other function. So dollar sign, open parentheses, and then at the very end, close parentheses. So now we're passing this function right here into this dollar sign function. And this function, this dollar sign function, turns this function right here into a QRL, which is just a string path pointing to this function so that when we use that function in the future, it knows where to get it from. And since this is now serializable, we can pass it through as a prop down here. So this is now gonna work and we invoke it just the same way. Even though essentially now this is just a path, it's a QRL, when we invoke it, it still does the same thing. It downloads the code it needs, that function, in order to invoke it. So now if we try this, you'll notice, first of all, the error's gone away. Let's refresh, open the modal, and now this works. So it opens, and we should be able to close it. Close, voila, it works. So 
there we go. We've now serialized this function or this QRL so it can be passed down as a prop. So a good practice then, whenever you have a function declared like this, even if you might not be passing it as a prop into another component, is to wrap it in the dollar sign function to make it a QRL because that QRL can be serialized, whereas the function cannot be. And then whenever you want to invoke that function, you can do so as normal. And by the way, you might be thinking, why didn't we need to manually make a QRL for inline functions attached to event listeners, like where we have an on-click event and the inline function that it fires? And we didn't have to manually make a QRL for this because these inline event handlers, Quick does that automatically for. But where you have a function not inline or used as a prop, you do need to manually make that QRL from it, first of all, okay?